Praise the Lord. Amen. You are welcome to this episode of Church in Your House. Amen. Thank you, everlasting God of glory. Thank you for opening our eyes unto your word. Thank you for giving us understanding. Lord, we pray that you make us doers of your word in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to continue our study of Genesis chapter 1. Uh, we are still in verse 1. Verse 1 says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Yesterday, we looked at in the beginning, God. Today, we are still going to be on that note. In the beginning, God. In the beginning, God, not the devil. Not the problem you are going through. That will take us to the book of John chapter 1. The Bible says in John chapter 1, we read from verse 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Shout hallelujah. All things were made by him. Now, I want us to look at this. In the beginning, God. And this God made all things. This God is the light. This God is the life. The Bible says in him was life, and the life was the light of men. So in him, you can say, is the solution. The solution to every problem, the life. The, in, inside of life, that life is joy, peace, happiness. Solution to every problem. And it will lighten our path. All right. But today now you have problems all over. And the author of this problem is the devil. Number one thing you have to understand about the devil is that he was not there in the beginning. He has a beginning. Praise the Lord. The God we talk about has no beginning because before the beginning he was there. So he has no beginning. But the devil has a beginning. Then there is another scripture I want us to See, in Isaiah chapter 14, we look at verses 12 and 13. The Bible says, How art thou fallen from heaven? Is the devil that is being referred to here. O Lucifer. They even mention his name. How are they falling in, uh, from heaven? O Lucifer, son of the morning. How art thou cut down to the ground? We did weaken the nation. For thou hast said in the heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the star of God. I will sit also upon mount of congregation in the sight of the north. So he lifted up himself up and he collapsed. His operation will come to an end. So the source of problem has a beginning, register that, and it has an end, which means whatever the devil is doing has an end. It has a beginning and it has an end. That's the source of problem. A time we come, he's, he, will, he will expire. Hallelujah. But Jesus, who is the source of solution, who is the life, and the life giver, the light, the way, hallelujah, has no beginning and it has no end. Which means the source of solution has been before the problem. And again, when the problem will come to an end, solution will still remain. This two things, oh my, had helped me in life. Anytime I run into any challenge, I just know that that challenge has a beginning and it will surely have an end. 
and the Lord God that I'm calling upon has no beginning and he has no end. So when this challenge that has come is gone, the solution will remain. And I looked through the Bible and I, I could see a pattern. All through the scripture, Genesis to Revelation time will not permit me to begin to lead some, but I just mentioned a few that solution has been before the problem. The solution is that God that has been from the beginning is the solution. So before the problem comes, God has prepared the solution. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. He had prepared the solution before Moses led the people to the Red Sea on their way to Canaan. And they seemed to have been stranded because the Egyptian army were behind the Red Sea in front of them. The road that Moses stretched forth to the Red Sea that parted the Red Sea, he had been carrying it for many years before that time. And the rod was a type of authority of Jesus Christ. God told him, with this rod you will do signs. And he carried the rod before the need will arise for him to use it to part the Red Sea. Solution has been before problem. Hallelujah. It was not that ah, after ah, getting to the side of Red Sea and the enemy were behind and... Moses call on God and God begin to say, what do I do now? No. In the beginning, God, he had prepared your solution before the problem. The, the rod, the type of Jesus. And we are carrying the rod today. The rod is the name of Jesus Christ. The name above all names. And the name of Jesus Christ, every name, bow, every red sea, parts. And whatever be the rest before you or the Egyptians army behind you, you will look back and you will see them no more forever in Jesus' name. Why? Because in the beginning, God. <laughs> in the beginning, solution. The people of God marched through the dry land in the Red Sea. And they got to the other side. They continued their journey only for them to get to a place. And uh, the water was bitter. They cry unto God, and God told them, look at that tree. Cast it into the water. And they cast the tree into the water, the water turned sweet. People of God, that tree was not planted that day. The tree was, I mean, had been prepared by God, the all-knowing God, who was there in the beginning. And what they, it was waiting for the time when the people of God will have need for it. Hallelujah. And that tree is the tree of life. It's a type of Jesus. When he step into any situation, it change the setting. Is your life bitter? Invite him to step in. And you're going to see a turning around in the name of Jesus. Why? Because solution has been before problem. And the solution is our Lord Jesus Christ, who has been there from the beginning before the problem. He was there. And he has carried the solution. It's like waiting for you. Hey, hey, come, 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 come. What you are looking for is in my hand. The people continued their journey. They got to a place there was no water at all. And Moses cried to God. God said, look, see that rock, strike it. This, the Moses struck the rock. He struck the rock and water gushed out. That rock was not dropped from heaven that moment. The rock was there waiting. The solution was waiting for the problem. <laughs> in the beginning, God, in the beginning, solution, not problem. The rock was waiting. God had positioned it. He knew that a time we come, his children will get to this area and they will not find water. But they will need water. And he had positioned the rock to pour water. Solution has been before problem. That rock is a type of Jesus Christ. The rock of ages. Hey, hey, he has solution to every problem. We can continue to look through the scripture and it's just like that you see it here and there before uh, the multitude needed to be fed even in the New Testament they, there was a lad with his lunch pack 
that lad did not run home to go and bring the lunch pack. He, he was carrying it. It was there, waiting for the grace that will hit it and multiply it, and the multitude will be fed. Your solution is not far-fetched. It's in the hand of Christ. Call him into your life. Call him into the situation. You will see a change. Hallelujah. And finally, before you commit that sin, the forgiveness had been released. Jesus had gone to the cross, shed his blood on the cross for the remission of that sin. <laughs> Hallelujah. He died on the cross. He was buried. He resurrected. For that sin, he laid down his life before you committed it. So, when you cry unto him for forgiveness, that blood that he shed on the cross of Calvary will wipe away your sin. And you will be made holy again, righteous again. So this is how it is. In the beginning, God, not the devil. The devil can come in any form and roaring like a roaring lion, just intimidating you, want to frighten you, just tell him you are not there in the beginning. Hallelujah. If the devil is haunting you with your past, and say you're a failure because you fail, you are a nobody because you have not been able to achieve anything, Hunt him with his future. Let him know how he's going to end in, <laughs> in the bottomless pit. What are you talking? Satan, the torture that is waiting for you <laughs> is great. Have you forgotten? My past has been taken care of by Jesus Christ, who was there in the beginning. In the beginning, God. I want you to be excited as you look at these things and always know that solution has been before problem. The source of solution is our Lord Jesus Christ. It has no, he has no beginning, he has no end. The source of problem is the devil. He has a beginning and he has an end. His operation will come to an end. And so when the, solu the, 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 the problem disappears, solution will still remain. You are the one that will laugh last in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your word. We worship your holy name. Thank you, Father Lord, for giving us Jesus, the solution. Help us always to look up unto him and to cry unto him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You have heard from the message. Jesus is the source of solution. He is the solution to our problem. You need him right now. Confess your sin and ask him to forgive you. Confess him as your Lord and Savior and begin to live a new life. Find the Bible-believing church and start attending and you see what God will do for you. In Jesus' name, amen.